Drawing walls in Revit is just like drawing lines in AutoCAD, only Revit will associate a wall type to the lines you draw. So first starting out um, in your drawing window, make sure you're in floor plan level 1. Go to your tool tray, choose basic, and then choose the wall tool. First thing to notice in the options bar is a pull down menu. If you've started this project from an OPN template, you should see a lot of different um, wall type choices. Choose a wall type, you can Moving down the options bar, you can um, enter a new height that the wall should be at. And um, you also have some line tool choices that are similar to AutoCAD tools. Um, in this case, um, I'm going to choose the rectangle tool. Going to the drawing window, I'm going to start a point, drag, and finish. And hit escape a couple times to get out of the wall tool. Zooming in, you can start to select walls individually. You can move them around. I'm going to select Move, click a starting point, drag, click a finish point. Notice that the adjacent wall is joined to it and drags with it. Um, if we want to snap these walls to the grid lines that have been created for the project, uh, you're going to align them using the Align tool. So up at the top, click Align. First, choose the object that um, you're aligning to. In this case, it's a grid line. Next, choose uh, the wall that's going to move up to it. As you hover over the wall, uh, you're going to notice Revit wants to align things to edges. So, in this case, this wall has an outside face edge that's highlighted, uh, and a uh, center line, and interior. So, choose the edge that you want to align to. Um, once you click on that, you'll notice a padlock appears. Uh, if you click on that, it will lock the wall to that grid line. Um, you can go around and align the rest of the walls to the grid lines. Once you've created your walls, you can uh, change them and you can modify them any way you want. We can make this bottom wall a curved wall. Uh, I'm going to first select it individually and I'm going to delete it. I'm going to go to our wall tool and this time I'm going to uh, choose a different wall tool. I'm going to choose an arc passing through three points. Zooming in, I'm going to go to a starting point. Revit always wants to snap to um, places to start drawing from. Um, I'm going to click, move over to our second point, click, and then our third will finish the arc. and hit escape a couple times. That's created a curved wall. If um, I want to, for example, bring this wall down aligned with the E-grid and then jog it over to grid four, um, one way I can do this is I can grab this wall, I can split it, and then I can bend it down and over. So I'm going to grab the wall, use the split tool. I'm going to split the line into two different lines now. I'm going to escape. I'm going to go to the wall tool. I'm going to draw a vertical leg for this wall to join to. I'm going to hit escape. Um, now I want to connect this corner of these two walls. Uh, normally in AutoCAD you would use the fillet tool. Uh, in this case the trim tool replaces that. So once you click on the trim tool you can see a couple different options for that. Click on the corner. Uh, choose the first wall to trim. Um, highlighting over the second wall will show you the path that it's going to trim. And click on that and it will move over. I'm going to hit escape. I'm going to select this piece of the wall, move it down, and trim now this piece to create our corner. And in the options bar I choose, the, make sure it's on the corner trim, choose the first wall and choose the second and it's created a corner. I'm going to escape out of there and just align the walls to the grids. And it's done.